am I single? Is that what you're saying to yourself? An album of singles, buy singles, four singles, because people love being single now. I am a hot mess, hot, hot mess. Hot mess. Hey, why am I single? So you must have worked together at some point before. I, well, we just haven't found the right project. And I've never looked. <laughs> a lot of great things have come from the Great White North. I mean, where would we be without peanut butter, the Wonder Bra Trivial Pursuit, and now they've given us Jan, the CTV comedy series starring Canadian singer, songwriter, and actress Jan Arden, who joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Listen, I'm very happy to be virtually in Las Vegas. Let me tell you that much right now. You know, I, I saw that you do love Las Vegas, that you, you've tweeted about your love for our city before, so I appreciate that. What are your favorite things to do here before we talk about your show, which is just hilarious? Oh, I mean, I love seeing the entertainment. I've seen all the Cirque du Soleil stuff. Another kind of Canadian import uh, from, from Montreal, the Cirque du Soleil guys. I have two wonderful friends there. Lynn and Josh live in Vegas. I love all the wildlife. I love go driving out to the Hoover Dam. I love going to uh, golfing. I mean, the yeah. desert is amazing, but I'll tell you my number one thing, and I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna make any apologies. Uh, people watching. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've the the best thing about people watching here is that you can see all kinds of people from different parts of the world in one spot. I mean, yeah, you see it all. Mm -hmm. And I think the outfits, I always, you know, I always feel pretty like a pretty darn good dresser after I've watched people go by for, you know, half an hour, coffee in hand. <laughs> but it's it's a great city. It's unbelievably friendly and you guys have great restaurants oh yeah definitely well look when all this is over you come on back because I, I i watched your show last night i watched the the pilot uh this might be the hottest new canadian show to come out you know <laughs> americans were obsessed with schitt's creek and now i think we're gonna move on to jan tell us about your show and it's loosely based on reality it is. I mean, I am a singer-songwriter. I've been with Universal Records for over 25 years and, and done 14 albums with them. But if someone would have told me that I'd be doing a scripted sitcom, I would have really laughed. That would have been comedic. Mm -hmm. But I had an opportunity to do it, and I just thought, why not? I'm not afraid of failure. I work with incredible people. You say Schitt's Creek. I work with one of the producers from Schitt's Creek. His name is Andrew Barnsley. And he's the fellow that came to me about four years ago. We started working on developing the show. And I just hey. thought, keep it close to the bone. I'm not an actor. Um, I certainly talk a lot when I'm doing my live shows, but uh, it seemed like it, it made sense just to kind of stick to my, I mean, my mother's no longer with us, but oh, I have a mom on the so show. Sorry. I, I, well, hey, things, we, we, we carry on. Um, I have two brothers uh, in real life. In the show, I have a sister. Mm. That's kind of fun. Um, in the show, I make out a lot more with people and go on dates because <laughs> in my real life, it's just like the dead zone. So, you know, that's enjoyable. Well, I do have to say, I don't want to give anything away, um, but you did get uh, some action sort of in the pilot, although it was with a fence. So, you know, you know, that is a, a very Canadian nightmare. We won't tell people, but if you've ever thought of barbed wire, making your way through barbed wire, doing the old lean over, push the wire down, what, what's the worst thing that could happen in your mind? I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys watch it to find out. <laughs> yeah, I, I was definitely laughing over. I mean, I don't know if your character needed stitches, but you had me in stitches with that one. Uh, I'm you, glad. You said you weren't an actress, but you definitely had me fooled uh, with the pilot. But I, but I really like the premise of this. You're kind of a, 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 a would you call it a, a I am not middle, so famous I, anymore. I, no, I'm, I'm trying to find relevance. I'm middle-aged. My mother has dementia. I've ended relationships. I'm always kind of in turmoil with my sister and her husband and my nieces. You know, we're all kind of looking, what's over the hill? What did I miss? Did I enjoy where I was when I was having it yeah. all? And I think seeing women feeling kind of empowered, but being able to see yourself, you know, I'm not the 21 year old in a comedy with five roommates, you know, <laughs> that live down the hall from each other. This really is a new kind of coming of age story, but it really is fun. It's a lot of physical humor and you do not have to know anything about Canada, Alyssa, 
to get the comedy in the show. You just don't. I figured that out in episode one. Thank you so much for joining us, Jan. And you know, I, I wish you much more success with the show and so what, whatever it is that you want to do. I hope it finds you. Right back at you, girl. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay safe, you guys. We'll see you soon. You too. And